I'm Gabriela Brooks and you're watching Portuguese Summer Festivals. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We had a blast this summer accompanying the unique festivals of our country. So today, we're taking a look back on the best unforgettable moments that we experienced throughout our journey around Portugal. Renowned artists, head-banging music, jaw-dropping locations. These made lovers and friends fulfill their ideals of a perfect summer in the Iberian Peninsula. Are you ready? My name is Christian. My name is Lara. Uh, we're from Belgium. This is our first time in Portugal. Boa dia. Boa tarde. O meu nome é Christoph. And of course, number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. And thank you, Full TV. Good music, good, nice people, nice Portuguese people. Viva Portugal. Viva Portugal. Obrigado. Hi guys, I'm Carlos, um, and you're watching Portuguese Summer Festivals. Enjoy it! Hey, Portuguese Lucky people. people! Muito obrigado! Hi, Fuel TV! Hi, my name is Pedro and this is... I'm Joanna! Hi, my name is Lina. Uh, I'm visiting here from the US. So, my name is Alex. I'm from Latvia. We come from France. And uh, we never went here uh, before and... Really, I can say, I love Portugal! I love Portugal! Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm from Australia. I've come to Superbox for one day to see Florence the Machine and it's good weather, lots of fun. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Peace. Hey, I'm from Holland. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm from Germany. Hi, I'm Natasha and I'm here with my friends because we like to party. party! We are here because we love summer festivals and we're here to listen to Calvin Aries. Kiss and hugs! Uh, FK Twigs, Caribou, Patty Smith, like, looking forward to it man, it's gonna be good. I'm from Estonia, and you're watching Pure TV. So we heard that Lisbon had um, 
Really nice beaches and really good surf. So we're gonna make it down to, what's the name of it? Costa de Capurica. We're gonna go down there tomorrow and try to catch some waves. So hopefully there's a, there's good surf out. Hey, I'm Beth. And I'm JB. And we're from Australia. We came from Switzerland. We're from Australia. And we're here to see Chef Baker, Fly Facilities, Counting Crows, Old J. Romeo! Well, hello Lisbon. Here we are at NOS Festival with two Belgian people. I'm standing here with my friend Simon. Simon, how is the festival so far? It has been great. It has been great. Um, I have had a wonderful time. We're going to fade out. Fade out. Fade out. Hey, I'm Mount, Joseph Mount, and you're watching Fuel TV. <laughs> How did Metronomy uh, get together? Well, it's kind of like it started off as, as my project, and like, well, I mean, it wasn't a project; it was like a hobby, and I just made music, and and then kind of people were interested and, and wanted to see it live, and so I, I got some people to help. <laughs> it's kind of like, I mean, so that's a very short version. I still write the songs and things like that, but uh, but yeah, now we're just like there's me, Oscar, Anna, Venga, and a guy called Michael, and like we just play great shows. But and. I guess so, you did start from a very young age, you were really interested in music when you were younger, right? Uh, by, what I, by what I know, uh, you even got your dad's computer and you used to put some music together. Yeah, I mean, like, I was young, I was like, I, I was just enthusiastic, like, I wasn't kind of, uh, I was like 16 or something and I didn't, I wasn't trying to get like a record deal, but I was just like learning and, and learning about making music. And I guess in those days you had to, you had to get a computer from your dad. <laughs> Electronic pop. Uh, why did that genre come into into the picture? I guess like when you're making what like just because I was using a computer really like I mean I liked I liked kind of DJ Shadow and like these kind of like people that sampled stuff but like just when you're using a computer you kind of you're making electronic music so yeah I kind of I just I started listening to people that were doing the same stuff as me yeah. After your four albums. Uh, a lot of success that you've been having. What are your future um, uh, dreams? My dreams. Uh, I mean, like uh, in a kind of funny way, like the to have to release four albums is like a, a dream. But I, I guess I'll release some more. Well, that's what I'm saying. After four albums, what else do you want? <laughs> I want to like I want a helicopter and a fifth album and then a, and then an airplane. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here. Would you like to leave a message for your fans? I would. Uh, this is Joe. Um, I tried to call and you weren't in. But it's great to see you all. You're the best people in the world. And that's not a lie.
Hello, my name is Afonso Neri and I'm a fresh 18-year-old boy and I'm a skateboarder. My favorite festival has to be Small Summer Fest as in the last couple of years we had a mini ramp uh, contest, the uh, uh, Elman Skate Ramp Tour and it's super crazy with the homies skating all day, leaving the reggae and some good chicks, you know, at Irisada. My favorite music is No Love from Alan Halloween because he tells us his story from his view because he's from the ghetto and it's another way of telling the day in the life of a person that lives in that ghetto. He really gets me hyped to hear this singer when I'm skating. I started skating when I turned 10 years old. Then I won the European Under-12 uh, in Basel, the Net, uh, European Championship Under-12, and Marischkinho Amateur Contest in 2012. Those two were my biggest uh, championships that I won. And right now I just want to skate some with my homies and film some in the streets. Hello, I'm Afonso Neri and I'm on the Portuguese Summer Festivals.
Celebration Portuguese Summer Festivals for free on the App Store or Google Play. Here, you can access all the national music festivals, all the information about your favorite artists, and exclusive content that Portuguese Summer Festivals has for you. Don't miss out on all the action this summer, and you can't forget to participate in the competition to give you the chance to win tickets to all the summer festivals. I'm here at Noza Live backstage with the marvelous Rosen Murphy. How are you feeling tonight? I'm getting right, I'm getting ready, I'm starting to power up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of wine because it's quite late tonight. Are you excited to be in Portugal? It's not your first time here. Are you gonna have time to do any other relaxing or is it just a lot of performing? Uh, we, we, we arrived here at sort of uh, six o'clock in the morning, so we've been here all day. And I've had a little walk around the streets in the in the old town. But I have been, been here before, but I do, yeah, I mean, I, I can't stay in the hotel when I'm here. This is too nice a town. You've got to get out and have a look around. What do you think about the Portuguese public? Love them. They're fantastic, yeah. How come you, you did that EP in Italian, Mi Senti? Uh, because my partner's Italian. He's a music producer. And um, he was teaching me all about Italian music, and it was a lovely thing to do. Well, hopefully, in the future, you'll be doing one in Portuguese as well. <laughs> if I'm clever, I would, wouldn't I? Tell me a little bit about uh, your latest album that you released this year in 2015, Hairless Toys. It was uh, a pleasure to work with somebody that I've known for 20 years, Eddie Stevens, who will be with me on stage tonight, has been my musical director with the live music all these years, so um, it was somebody I knew very well, so it was a very intimate experience making it. Did you have anything in mind, especially for that album? What's the meaning of Hairless Toys? Well, we didn't really actually have very much in mind. As I said to you, we are quite stupid <laughs> so we just sort of we didn't it wasn't a record that we kind of were listening to other records and saying oh I really want to make a record like this which I did on overpowered I had a clutch of disco records I wanted to do something like this I would play it to, to people that I was working with and so on and I like to work like that but in this situation that's not the way you can't work like that with Eddie you know he's totally crazy so we have to kind of go and throw the rule book out the window and just keep experimenting and having fun life is like that we're never prepared for things they just happen and things keep going along right well, true but uh, i think it was a miracle that i fell into this job that it seems to be perfect job for me so I'm quite happy about that Portuguese Summer Festivals! Feel the microphone! Feel the microphone! Darling, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. Being here is awesome. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Hi. My name is Tobias. Hello from London! Hello from Germany and half South Korea! We love Portuguese uh, people! It's Portugal, no problem, huh? <laughs> My microphone isn't working, but I'm having a lot of fun! We, we love, love Small Summer Fest! I love this shit. It's been amazing. Thirsty, thirsty, trying to choose. I think I know I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I'm from Ireland and I love Coraline! You and me, we made a vow! Portugal is the best! Woo! It's awesome, the people, the music, it's great! Hi, Beauty Bay! We are from France and we are so much enjoying Lisboa and we love so much this festival! Hello! We were on a surfing trip for the week in Lisbon and we stumbled across this concert tonight. Um, brilliant. All I can say, Lisbon, fantastic city. Amazing. We dance like crazy. Hello, Portugal. I came from to Kazakhstan. Go, Fuel TV. On the lads, on the lads, on the lads. 
Shabba. Shabba. Portuguese girls. Amazing. I mean, that's the visual yeah, effects right. going on right there. Very attractive guy. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> And I'm so fucking happy. So I'm so happy. If you're not here, you... yeah, man, it sucks. So I love you guys. Portugal, está bem. Muito bem. Lisbon is fantastic. Lisbon is beautiful. Obrigada. That's it for today, guys. A summer to remember. So much to look forward to next year. Reggae, hip hop, blues, electronic, pop, rock, indie. We showed you a vast amount of music, festivals for everyone to enjoy. Infinite moments of laughter, photos, videos, dancing, and singing along to the beats of international and national artists. These were, without a doubt, the best moments of Portuguese summer festivals. So don't forget us, we'll be back.